Hello, this is Dan with August Games, and I'm going to do a solo playthrough of Rise of the Gnomes. Um, I am going to be playing humans right here, because humans don't get enough love. Um, so this is not really a video to show you how to play the game, though I will walk through some of my decision-making process. I have gone ahead and set up the board right here. I am going to be red. We are the Swamp Humans. These are the Gnomes, the Automa player, which I have to beat. So let's go through the first game phase, which is Allies. That's where the Gnomes and I draft an ally. So let me shuffle the deck, because you always have to shuffle every time. You grab it. You grab the number of cards equal to the number of uh, human players, plus one. And these are allies, which we're going to add to our player board below it to give a special ability so this is an ability that um allows me when i do beer competitions um sorry proof uh yeah beer competitions i do it better this is an ability that allows me to send uh other customer cubes out of my space i'm gonna go ahead and take this because this is fantastic one of the single best abilities for a solo play uh, and right here there's no point so this just goes to the no bag okay that's the first phase second phase we're going to be placing workers uh when you're playing with this many players uh every which solo you get eight meeples a piece i'm gonna go ahead and you use the gnome deck to determine where the gnomes go during this phase. You equal to the number of workers they have. That is done. Gnomes go first. Here we go. Uh, just a reminder, in solo play, we don't take this middle position, either here or here. And obviously, these are all open. So this one right here, the gnomes take employ thugs, one of my favorite spots. My turn, I these actions happen Im immediately, except the gnomes don't actually perform the actions, they just block it. These actions happen later in the round. I'm going to start with what I think is the most important, which is going to be this. Okay, gnomes take a beer comp. They always take the first one. I am going to do the expand action. They take this symbol right here, which is the first expand, which is fine with me. Um, I need to try to cover most of these as I can so I can thug and maybe take these two. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do this position right here. They take this spot, which is the dragon tribute space, which we're not going to use so early in the game. I I think I got to take that second build, which is really, really important. They take the top red. Um, hmm, this might be where I'm going to use my thugs. So I'm going to go ahead and employ thugs, which is replace, remove up to three other cubes, replace them with two of my own, or add then add two. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to do Thug far away here because it's hard for me to get to it since it's so far away. Done. And I have to pay two, two gold. So I'm not worried about. Got lots of gold. Gnomes are going to take this spot, which again, early, these are, the yeah, I'm getting pretty lucky. It's not as important to me. Um... I'm going to take this build spot. So right now I'm going to be spending six, seven, eight beer. Because before you perform these actions, the next phase, you must pay the beer. So right now I'm at uh, six. Oh my god, I'm at uh, nine, ten beer. At least have to, uh, and I have five beer. So I need to at least produce beer once here. Um, they are up. Sorry. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, just for everybody's sake, I forgot to mention, I'm playing a normal difficulty, which is uh, I should beat, hopefully. If I don't, it's embarrassing. Uh, hmm. I'm actually... Oh, 
it's difficult because if I produce beer, then I'm like, I can always use gold in lieu of beer. I am actually going to go ahead and do that. Gnome's final action is they take, uh, since there's no build spaces left, they take the first and cheapest space, which is here. And my last space is going to be produce beer. You always produce beer equal to your beer production value here. And your beer production will go up as I build more breweries in my brew empire. I'm going to go ahead and take five. Which I know I'm going to spend all this beer. So that's it. We've placed all of our workers. Let me go ahead and put these cards away. Thank you. Sorry, table topia is oftentimes slow. Now we're going to go here, which is the execution of all these so the gnomes actually as i mentioned before do not actually perform these actions they just block me from taking it so i'm just going to go one card at a time and we got the first position uh i'm going to go ahead and pay three beer three beer whoops get it in the bag to add a brewery to a space that I control, which is this. Control being uh, you have the highest number of points in a space. Points are one point for every customer cube, two points for a brewery. So when I'm done, I'm going to go and put this here. Uh, and then I, I like to take these cards off as I go so it's really clear where we're at. So I'm going to do two barrel deliveries, which is adding three cubes to an adjacent territory. I'm going to do that twice, which cost me four beer. I, uh, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm going to have to spend two gold still. Ooh. Okay. So I get to add three and three. So I'm going to do this one. Two, three. So I pull them off my board first. Two, three. Let's expand here, then here. So I went boom, boom. These are both adjacent to spaces that I have. Caravan. This goes off to here. A beer competition, which is right here. This is remove uh, up to two enemy cubes in a tile occupy and then add up to two of mine i'm just gonna boot the gnomes out of here so i boot them have a little beer competition then i get to add two more so i'm actually adding a lot of cubes to the board okay and that and i didn't pay my beer for that thank you lastly i pay three four beer to perform both of these actions so as you see you can um i'm using two gold instead of beer which is Economically not the best decision, but strategically important right now. And I get to build two breweries on the board. So you can add breweries in a space you have control. Control being highest market share for a number of points in a space. So obviously that's here. And because I have three points and they have one, I'm going to build here. So when I added that brewery, every time yet you add to your beer production. So I had actually added a total of three breweries because it's a base of four. Five, six, seven, eight. My beer production is now eight. And I get to unlock another special ability. I'm actually going to unlock the ability to produce more beer. Okay. So that is done. And I can take all the workers. I'll just set them all down here like this. I'll leave them here on the board. Okay. So now we perform the actions. Now it's the gnomes' turn. So this turn, this phase right here is where the gnomes are going to perform their actions in a solo game. Uh, this is actually not an updated board. It needs to be updated. Uh, this is they actually play with five. So I will go ahead and do that. Yeah, this board, I updated it last week and not update Tabletopia yet. Whoops, sorry, I grabbed the wrong deck. So it's actually five. I'll update Tabletopia tonight so people who see see this won't be confused. Okay. So what these gnome cards are going to do is that they're going to dictate what the dragon does, which is this horrible glue oh. tail. 
the Eternal, which is ravaging the countryside, actually released by the gnomes. And then the next action is to determine what the gnomes do. So the first thing is Gloomtail, the Eternal, moves to forest. So if we go here to look at the boards, sorry. Gloomtail, the Eternal, is not adjacent to the forest, so Gloomtail does not move. Next, we try to do this action, which is build. In this tile order, there actually can only build in one space, which is here. And that's not great for me. And they build right there. So that is card is done. Next card, it tries to move to Highland. Again, I'm really fortunate where the dragon is. Then they do a beer competition in Highlands, then Forest, then Swamp. So Highlands, Forest, here we go. Because similar what I did to them, they're going to add to, I'm going to subtract to. So in this tile, I have a market strength of two, three. They have a three. So that's good for me because we're still tied. And I return these cubes to my uh, player board. Uh oh, hope I don't lose any more cubes. Okay. Next one is. Gloomtail moves to the center. He's not adjacent. Again, Gloomtail is still sleeping at this point in the game, which is great for us early. Uh, then they build. The gnomes have no place they can build. So if they can't else, they do this. So they're going to do a beer competition in the middle, which they can't. A beer competition there where they can't. And beer competition in a forest. Sadly, I'm in a forest. They remove. There's only one cube they can move. And they add two of their own. This is not a good situation for me right now because they actually have control. If the build comes up in these last two cards, I am going to be in trouble. And I'm in trouble. So Dragon does not move. And they're going to build right here. So, oh, that's a rough start to this, this uh, game. They return that. My beer production adjusts. I never have to return an upgrade once I do it. So even if I had this brewer's return, the upgrade doesn't return. Once you upgrade something, you have it forever. Uh, lastly, the dragon moves to swamp. Again, the dragon's in a really good spot for me. Uh, they ca uh, cannot build. They cannot do any of these three actions, right? They're not with me anywhere else. So they're going to do the bottom action, which is they score two points, which is not great for me either. So that's the gnome turn. It was not a good opener, but the gnomes typically take the lead early in the game. I'm not worried yet. Okay. Next phase is uh, points and gold. So we'll do the gnomes first. Man, they're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points. Woo, 13. That's a big lead for the gnomes. I'm going to get a lot less than that. Though that's going to change this following round. I'm going to get 1, 2, 3 points only. Ooh, I need to. Oh, gnomes get two for the middle, too. Three. I should have done it earlier, uh, a little easier. The difficulty, normally you play in beginner or easy. Humans are not the absolute strongest solo player, but um, I'm going to come back and beat these guys. So that is the first turn. Now they get their gold, which is one. They only get one gold. That's huge for me. And I am going to get one, two, three, four gold. go then the last thing we do is we reset for the next turn which means we shuffle these cards so every round these cards come out in a slightly different order very interesting i'm going to do some serious beer comps here okay and then we advance the round there we go in our second round which means it costs more to bribe the dragon and the dragon eats more people so we start to the beginning We'll start with our two ally cards. Both good. Remove three gnomes anywhere on the board or add two of my cubes to any swamp. Swamping keepers or remove any three gno gnomes are indicated with the gear. I'm actually going to take this card. So thing I want to note about this, because it has a point, this is the points I immediately collect. Gnomes also, however, are going to get this card and get a point also. So they get a point, and I get a point. Ooh, that's a rough first first turn. 
I gotta just take apart, take take these breweries down. Uh, placing our workers now. I know. I like to shuffle every time. Don't be a build first. I really need these builds. Okay, so the first thing that they do is they're gonna take the bard space, which is right there. Because this icon right here matches the icon on the lower part of the card. Um, I really think I need to expand. I'm going to beer comp these guys out of here the best I can. We'll see that in a minute. They take the first beer comp space, which is totally okay with me. Whoops, sorry. Ah, I took the space. That's wishful thinking because I'm going to take that one. They take the first build, which is not great, but that's not bad for me. Um... I think I, uh, have I, wait, I, they have one, two, they have three. I think I'm going to go ahead and take, oh, uh, this spot right here. So right now, and they're going to take the other build. Ooh, just leave me nothing but expensive builds. So I'm going to have to do this. Yeah. They're going to take this space, which is the build brewery space, which is not going to make too big of a difference to me. I'm actually going to take the second build here. Okay. Oh, did I accidentally place one of theirs in my spot? Yeah, one, two. I apologize. Oh, no, I have three. Good, it's me. It, it is my turn. Yeah, I have one, two, three, four. They have one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to take... trying to decide here. I think I'm actually going to see if I can... Um, I got a lot of gold. I got to produce beer. I'm going to produce eight beer. Right now I'm going to spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, I'm going to have to produce beer twice. I'm going to employ thugs. I can remove up to three other cubes. One, two, three. Which is good for me. To add uh, two of mine. Yeah. Okay. So right now they're still ahead, but I'm going to be catching them up very shortly here. Um, they take... Build spaces are full, so they take the cheapest first space, which is right here on the car action cards. So I'm in a dilemma here. I've, do I, so if I don't produce beer, I'm going to do 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 8, 9, 10, 11. I'll spend every penny I have, which means the dragon gets loose. I'm screwed, but I'm... I'm going to produce beer. Yeah, they really... Uh, whoops, sorry. That was my 8 beer. Whew, hate to do that. Oh, somehow, did I get off? Did I draw one extra card? Did I skip one? Hmm, I think I got off by one. I'm sorry about that. If I screwed, screwed that up. I think I forgot to flip a card. It's okay. Mistakes happen. It's hard to, like, play and think I'm on video at the same time. We'll set that aside for now. Well, I can actually go back. Are they here? Are they here? Oh, there's a third bill, which they couldn't do. Dragon. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. Dragon. Oh, no. There it is right there dragon space there then they take the last one which is a build and they take this i'm i'm gonna produce beer which will give me another eight beer because i think i'd rather just get extra beer for the following round i don't think it's going to be a great round for me okay so we've placed all of our workers i take their cards put them back here we progress to the we're executing these. So this card, obviously nothing to do. 
We have a uh, barrel delivery twice, so I'm going to spend four. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten right now. It's uh, often things that we do when we're playing so so solo. Uh, eight, nine, ten. So I'm just going to pay for all my actions now. It's a shortcut that I'd mentioned in the rules. So three and three. I'm going to get a lot of cubes out on the board, which is going to be great. One, two, three. So I 100% want to take this. 100% want to take this. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that second build. Yes, I can. I'm not going to be able to replace one of theirs, but I can do it. Okay, so these two are done. So I'm going to go ahead and do these guys are now off hope this is okay i try not to move the camera that much but it, i'm so used to playing on tabletopia okay so this is my first build so i have five and they have four which means that uh i get to build in this spot so whenever you build a brewery you replace the brewery that's there which is awesome for me and even better Every time you replace an own brewery, you earn two points. Kind of a little reward for uh, messing with the gnomes. So that is done. Yeah, caravans aren't used as much in a solo game, but you can. So I'm going to do a beer comp, which means I'm going to remove... I can actually remove up to three of their cubes. Uh, unfortunately... But I, because of my card, I get to add three cubes in return rather than two, which is great. And that's that upgrade I got the first turn, which is right here. My pixie promoters are helping me get extra customers in that space. So that was a beer comp right here. Boom. And lastly, I'm able to do that last build this is fantastic for me because i replace their brewery and give myself two extra points there we go i'm creeping up now and let me get this so i put these back i always like to clear these off okay so workers back to where they were Normally you put them on your playboard, but it's easier for me to put them together there since we're playing on Tabletopia. Okay, so now we've executed all the turns. So we're going to go over to the next phase, which is just where the gnomes do their magic. So let's hope good stuff happens. So I'm, again, five cards. Okay, dragon does not move again. We're super fortunate this game. The dragon's in a really, really good spot for us early. Though I often think the dragon is worse on the gnomes than us, but um, the uh, here the gnomes are gonna add to a highlands, a forest, or a swamp. Highlands, forest, swamp. Well, guess what? They're in swamp, so they're coming back at me there. Which is, so right now they have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can take a little bit more. Next action, ah, the dragon goes to where it already is, home. That's great. Beer competition in a swamp, in a mountain, and in a uh, grasslands. Well, they're in neither of those three because we've contained them really well. Except now they're going to expand in downhill. They can't do this. So into grasslands. So there are... The grasslands they can expand to, there's only one in the whole board, crazy, is right here. If ever there's more than one choice, you use these symbols at the bottom to resolve the ties. You notice each of these have a unique symbol. So they add three into there. Gonna make an employ for my happy grassland style. Okay. Third one, dragon moves to mountains. Again, the dragon, I'm really, really fortunate where it is. Uh, they're gonna try to build, which they cannot. They're going to do a beer comp in the middle. I'm not in there. Forest. Yep. Darn. They just... Now, if we look at this, 
for this spot. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six. So if they get a build, one of these last twos, they're gonna take that space back from me. Whoops. Dragon moves does not move. They add three to a forest. Well, guess what? <laughs> they're really going to... They're pushing hard for that forest back again. Excellent. Don't get a build. Oh, I'm lucky. Dragon does not move. They add three to the middle, which is... The, so, what? Oh, they did unlock another point, but I was very fortunate here they did not build. There's a lot of build cards in this deck. Okay. So now the gnomes have completed all their actions. It's very unusual to have the dragon out of oh. turns, but it can happen, especially when this dragon is so isolated. But once it breaks out, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, let's do points for the gnomes. So they get three, four, five, six. Hey, that's not bad. 22. Plus two for the, for the middle for 24. Again, every turn you have a brewery in the middle, you're going to collect those two points. We did a little catch up. Let me make sure my breweries are adjusted for our one, two, three, four, five, six. It's 10. I will upgrade this and make this 11, which will give me another point. So my points are one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we're still falling behind a little bit, but we're gaining momentum. So that's 13. We're still pretty far back. Again, Solo, even on normal, is very, very hard. I mean, I can do it, but now I'm getting a little bit worried. So we do gold. So the gnomes get one, two, four gold. I'm just going to give them a fiver. And they use that gold for bribing the dragon. I need to take that middle is what I'm going to be doing this round. One, two, three, four, five, six gold. Okay. And I got a lot of beer left 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 over so i'm feeling like it's going to be an excellent turn for me okay progress the turn marker shuffle this let's see what we got oh build up front always a little bit brutal better not be the only build we have oh there we go oh it's a really unusual turn hmm, i'm gonna have to do a lot of movement this round okay we're all set Sorry, I didn't move this. So let's go ahead and do allies. So again, I get first pick always. Uh, this allows us to build boats in empty spaces. Unfortunately, there's boats still here. I can pay money to move the dragon, but I'm not going to do that. Or I could just get a point and airdrop to any forest, which is actually tempting to get here really well. That's what I'm going to do. And unfortunately... Oh. He also gets a point. So he goes to 25. I go to 14. Okay, that is done. We're going to place our meeples. Let me shuffle his deck. Let's root for me, shall we? Okay, eight. Okay, here we go. They claim this spot, which is a great upgrade spot. I really need to get guys out of here. Like, it's really, really important. I also need to expand there. So, well, certainly I'm going to do this. 100%. Let's just get rid of many people out of there as I can. He took one of the thug spots, which kind of is not great for me, but I'm going to take the second bear comp. That allowed me to move six cubes out of here, which will give me a little bit of, um, actually, excuse me, I'll take, uh, yeah, six, six cubes and I'll add six. That'll be a giant swing in that space. Here we go. They take this. The question is, I guess I should take this just cheap build. There's no beer comp available, so they take, excuse me, the cheapest first spot here. Oh, sorry. Um, I have a lot of gold. I 
think I'm actually going to thug there. So I pay two gold. There's, an, there's the bard. I was tempted to use the bard, but honestly, I just want to thin them out. Now, you don't want to completely eliminate the gnomes because if they can't do anything, they, they just get two points at the bottom of the card. It's not good. So I think if I cover them here, I'm going to expand here later in this, this round. That's going to be great. They take a build action, which I was tempted to do. Right now, one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm going to take a cheap build action. Wait, did I, uh, did I actually, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think I missed, I messed up again. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Sorry. I just didn't see them stacked. Okay. That's great. So now it's their turn. They're going to go here to Oktoberfest, which normally will allow me to sell points, which I won't do early. Um, I am going to use my special ability card down here. Which allows me to add two cubes to any forest tile on the whole entire board. Which in my case is going to be way over here. Okay. They took red, which is this one. I do have the ability to build a second one in a second of a, a second swamp. So if I do that, right now I'm spending one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Last thing, he takes a dragon space. Again, fortunate for us. And I'm gonna go ahead and produce beer, which in this case is gonna be eleven. Which is Super, super handy. Okay. As you can see, once you get going, it's really fast. I can apologize for the camera work. Um, let's proceed to the execution of the turn. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. I'm just going to pay all my beer right now. When you do solo, you can certainly do that. Um, my build, so my first build is actually going to, I'll adjust my beer production after. It's going to be right here. Put these guys back. My next action that's out here, look at that. He's going to go here. Is going to be to the double expand. So I screwed that up really, really well because I can't do both. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have. I did I did it wrong. So I'm actually, well, I can't expand. I could do one brewery and one swamp tile because I have this up, this right here. So I am going to go ahead and do that right here. Yeah, I really screwed that up, uh, which is then in turn. So let me look at my beer production. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine takes me to here. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this and get myself to 14. Um, I cannot do that second action. So I'm just going to get my free beer back I paid for it and only do that top action. Yeah, I kind of screwed that up, huh? I should be better at this game. And then I'm going to do two beer cons, which is normally minus two plus two, but because of this card, it's... Uh, I'm going to remove what? Two, three. That's three. I should really be pushing in the middle. That's what I'm going to do next, next round. So there's my six. <laughs> Try to get him to stick. The joy is the tabletopia. Okay, that's great. And I'm going to add these here. So I got a really strong presence here so far. And 
and that is that. So my turn is done. I think I'm going to use this card this next round. They got a lot of guys in the middle. How many they got in the middle? Eight, nine, ten. Oh, whew, that's a lot. Well, if we get two beer beer comps, I'm 100% going to push for the middle. They're going to do five actions. If I don't get some points here, I'm going to be in trouble. Yeah, I kind of made a couple mistakes there. Ah, oh, I should have taken more. Um, it's okay. So, Dragon... Oh, does not move still. We're lucky. Uh, can they build? Nope. Can they do a beer comp in any of those? They can in Grasslands right here, which is great. I'm going to put these in my hand for now. Okay. Dragon doesn't move still. We're really fortunate. He's still sleeping. They cannot build. They can exit forest tile. So what this means, they go into one in every adjacent, and this forest it works out. If there's any, it's not enough guys, enough cubes, then you use the symbols to resolve it. But that actually works out perfect. It's one to every one, which is touching, which makes them an opportunity to build here, which is not great for me. Dragon does not move. They're going to do a beer comp in forest, swamp, and mountain. Swamp right here. That's my home base. Now, I have a strength of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They have a strength of 3. So I'm still pretty solid there. But it, it's getting to be dangerous if I lose two breweries at once. Dragon does not move, and they get a build. So... Again, we look at all the symbols. This is where they can build. Whew, I just gave them three points. That's not good for me. Lastly, dragon still still does not move. That's remarkable. Uh, and they cannot build anywhere. So they're going to build in the grasslands. There's only one grasslands. One, two, three. Now that's the last time they're going to get five cards. So, uh, next round, if you look right here, they're going to actually pull seven cards. We get extra workers, but they're going to pull an extra card. So, let me put my cubes back. Oh, it cost me a point, his actions, because you got to empty out all four squares to get the point underneath. So, let's progress to points. So, they get six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. Woo! That is not good for me. I'm not going to win this. Uh, I get... Let me double check my point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which would be 14. Yep, plus my four. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. I got to start getting some points here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-two. Uh, maybe. It's getting close now. I, I mean, uh, oh, and then gold. So my gold is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I'm lucky that there is not a lot of um, dragons. Like, really, really fortunate. And the gnomes are going to get their one, two gold. So they're, they have a lot of gold, too, though. So we don't have to. We're just the dragons been sleeping this most of this game. So now we're going to progress to turn four. Which means we both get an extra worker, which is a total of nine. We shuffle this two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The, I mean, the bad news is if the dragon gets out this turn, oof, I really need this gold because I can buy a lot of points with this. Whew. Okay. Here I go. If I lose, it'll be embarrassing. So we only pull two allies. Ugh. So be really good at doing thugs or move these any we want. I think I'm going to take the uh, add and subtract an extra person for using the thugs. And they get a point and I get a point. Okay. Now we're going to be placing workers. Sorry, I keep on forgetting to advance that. I just play so many games that... 
I really need to get one more brewery so I can get down to the bottom. I can get these last two. Well, I can convert this one. I've got to pull these cubes off of here and here. There's two beer comps. Well, it's, it's irrelevant until I see what they're going to do. So there's their card. Okay, first thing they do. They're going to take the tavern sales. I am all about as many beer comps as I can possibly do. They take one of the thug spaces, which kind of sucks. I am going to do the other beer comp. They take a build. Oh, I really need that sec. Oh, sorry, put the wrong color there. I'm going to take the last build. There's only one build out here, so. Ah, they take the other thug space. I needed that. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that makes it more interesting. I uh, will take this spot. They go here. I'm going to take this spot. So right now, I'm... Yeah. It's my turn, isn't it? I have... Uh... I think I'm actually going to use something we have not done in this game is the bard. Which is right here, which is pay a gold to add one to an adjacent. It's kind of cheap. But here's the thing. It'll allow me to really get a foothold in here. Okay. I'm going to beer comp again. So right now, so I have 11 beer. So I'm spending 9, 10, 11, 12 beer, but I got gold. But I should produce beer once. Um, I need to get this one too. So if I rush the middle, I'm going to be able to subtract... Three, four, five, six. So that'll give them two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll get me a seven. That's if I only do three of them. I can only do one build anyway, so I might as well just soak that metal. This one kind of sucks that I can't defeat it, but. I need to get him out of that middle at all costs, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh, they should have went first. Sorry about that. I got greedy. Uh, they take this spot. I take this one. Yeah, I think that's going to work. There's no build for them, so they're going to take the cheapest. And, oh, why did I, did I screw that up? Yeah. What am I going to do? Um, I think I'm going to do this. Or I'm just going to subtract three. So I can actually... Oh, God. There's just so many guys everywhere. I'm just going to subtract these three. I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, that's it. Everybody's gone. Execute the turn. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, did I? I never produced beer. Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh oh. That's 15 with the gold. I think I'm going to spend all that right there. Ooh, I hate to spend all that gold, but it's going to be worth it. So uh, two beer comps. Again, plus three, minus three. So it's going to be the six. Oh, 
get in there, gnomes. They're gonna add cubes, I'll just pile them there. And then I get to add six. So we'll look, if you ever don't have cubes on your board, um, you can choose to move them from other places instead, which I might end up having to do. So I'm gonna go and do this. So then I get to add three. I didn't even need to do that last thing that I did. One, two, three. So that gives me six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I still got two more beer comps. So I'm actually, I'm gonna take my last three and add them here. And I have two beer comps. So because my board is empty, I have to move them from other areas of the board. Whew, which is tougher. But I can always remove three, but I can add up to two. So one, two, three. I'm actually going to go one, two, like this. And the second one, one, two, three. I'm going to move one here. It might be a little bit risky. I'm sorry for this wonderful mess I made here of the gnomes. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I pulled a lot of cubes off the board. This is where I got to make my big move, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my build. Guess what? Boom. That's a huge one for me because that's going to be plus five points for me. I immediately get plus two. That is done. And uh, and there's nothing else I have left. So that's my turn. I did everything up front heavy. I really like how placing your pieces on here feels like a puzzle, like the best order to do everything. Um, it's going to be close. I have a chance. It just depends what happens this round. They're going to pull seven cards which is going to hurt a little bit. Yeah, it's going to really hurt. Well, they're going to have to shuffle. Five. Whoop. Let's do it in the proper order. I guess that'd be good. Oh, nice in a row. That's pretty. And these are all spent, by the way. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so now the gnomes get to go. I got a good spot. Let me adjust my beer production. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Plus four is fifteen. I cannot lose a single brewery this round. Okay. There we go. Uh oh. Dragon moves to flies to water, which is going to be oh. So here we go. God. Oh. <laughs> Off my coast, the dragon finally emerges. It took a long time. The gnomes try to build. They cannot. The gnomes do a beer competition in the middle, which they can. So plus two, minus two. I am still pretty strong in the middle. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh-oh. I'm a little nervous about that. Dragon would try to move to the middle, which it cannot. They're going to add to a mountain tile they occupy, a grasslands they occupy, which is right here. Boom. Done. Dragon's going to move to the lion water, which there is no lion water, so the next water is the scale. Oh, it's where it's already at. Nice. Lucky for me. Uh, they add three more cubes to the middle. Uh-oh. This is going to be a problem. Because right now, we have... Oh, I screwed that up. So they have 8, 9, 10, 11. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh! I'm going to lose the middle. Yep, there it is. I lost the middle. So the dragon moves to swamp. They take the middle back. Oh, that hurt. That hurt bad because then I lost another point here. Damn gnomes. 
Dragon moves to fish water. Anytime they move, they destroy the boat. Oh. And they're just flying all around the outside. Fear competition of mountain grasslands. Ugh, brutal. Moves back home. We're extremely oh. fortunate the way this drag is moving. They can't build anywhere. They do a beer comp in the in the middle, of course. Dude, they just took me back hard. I should have just pulled more off, but I just didn't foresee that happening that that hard. Dragon moves to forest. They cannot. They cannot build. They are gonna vacate mountains. They cannot. They vacate grasslands. So one in every connected. One, two, three. There's only three that are connected. I don't think I'm going to win this game, actually. It's going to be... Heck, that was a rough turn for me. I really thought I'd do a little bit better. Okay. If I really squish him this round, I have a... I'm not going to make it. But anyway, let's try. Uh, points. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Forty-four. Forty-four. That cost me so many points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. I'm just... It's possible. Two gold. I mean, they don't have a lot of gold out. Mm. And I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gold. Oh, that didn't work out well. So I can buy five points for that. Mm. I, I, if I should have had the middle, we could, I could have closed the gap. I think that, that cost me right there. Okay. Reset. What? Sorry. Woo! That hurt me. Builds up front. Come on, give me a build at the back. Oh! That is a bad scenario for me. Mm. Well, I can go all in on this. I have a couple ideas. Oh, that was a rough one right there. Okay, ally cards. Give me something. Give me some big points. I'm just going to take these plus two points. And they get nothing. So that's off. My last ally is not great. So done. See, I would have been plus three, four points. And he would have been minus five. I would have passed him. It just came down to that one move right there. Oh, I got too greedy right here. That's okay. Um... It's possible I can pass them up. Uh, I guess we're placing workers now. Come on, baby. I need a little bit of luck on this last round. Make sure my gnomes are all off. Yeah, I don't have a lot of... Ooh. Oh, they took one of my coveted beer comps. Well, I'm going to take a build because I think it's really important that no matter what, I get that first build. Because I think everything I have to do has to be up front. And I'm going to take that second build. And he took this. So let's think about this. I can move a lot of these guys in hard. I've got to be able to build... So if I I got this. I 
Yeah, it's a little bit difficult right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this because I'm going to be able to add three and I'm going to subtract four. I mean, I, I, I have to do that. One, two, three. I've never had a game that where the dragon had so little effect, but I'm kind of glad for that because I mean, it would have hurt him too, but there we go. He's going to go ahead and take the other red. So if I do another... Oh, that, oh I didn't pay for that. So two. I'm going to actually do it again and pay another two. And uh, add three, which is the rest of my guys. And subtract four. One, two, three, four. So how many is that? So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I can build in the middle now. Um, and I'm going to be able to build here and there. But I can't lose anything else either. I'm actually... Oh, he should go next. Did I go twice in a row by accident? I did. That was my fault. Sorry. If he's any of these, is that? Okay, good. It, sorry. That was my fault entirely. He did this and the other one. I got all excited and uh, he took this one. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's what happens when I get all super excited. I start forgetting. Okay, he can't take this. So he takes the first cheapest. I am going to take this. Gonna have to produce beer. He takes upgrade. I'm gonna produce beer, which is 14. I mean, the question... Cost five to bribe the dragon. Question is, do I just buy two points? I could buy three points. Take it back. With these two, I can buy three points with this action right here. Sorry. If I do that, but then if the dragon kills my guys, um, well, let's see what he does, his last guy. Oh, thugs again. Thank God. And they take this. So let's think about this. So if I did not buy the points and he gets... I will have... You know what? I'm not going to do the math. I'm just going to gut it. I think I am going to go ahead and spend nine gold to buy three points. This could be a giant mistake, but it might not be. So right now, one, two, three, four, five points behind. Uh, I can get plus five on them. It's close. Okay, that's it. Workers are out. So I'm going to spend six, seven beer only. I have an excess of beer for my victory party afterwards. Knock on wood, if I'm lucky. I don't know if I'm going to be that lucky. Okay, I don't. so I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going to go do this, which is going to allow me to do one, two, three. Oh, I have to do from one, so everything from there, four. I mean, I'm going to risk it in this forest. I just got to risk it because the middle is much, much more important. I'll guarantee. Okay. So now then I do my two builds, which is going to give me plus four points. One, two, three, four. I'm going to pass these gnomes. The question is, can I hold it? That's going to be the $10,000 question. I mean, that's a big ploy at the end. Woo. Man, I can't believe I pulled that out. So that gives me 
Uh, that's 10, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? 16 beer production. That gives me. So I will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 points if I hold it. Uh, and that's it for my actions. I'm not going to bother clearing this. It's all about the gnomes now. Here we go. Seven cards. It's going to be the seven cards of my fate. There we go. We'll put them in a row. I really like. I really like how that looks. Do not move, dragon. Dragon flies to the middle, of course. <laughs> okay. So oh. I pay five gold to get rid of it. He pays five gold. That means if you bribe the dragon, this amount right here, he doesn't eat your stuff. So five gold. He better not do anything else to me. Gnomes can't build. Gnomes can spread out of mountains. They're not in mountains, but they can spread out of grasslands. So they go dink, dink, dink. Wow. Just reinforces their position here, which makes me nervous. Dragon moves to swamp. Oh. I have no more money. So this is where I get in trouble. So I lose one brewery. I only brew, brew one. Oh. And all the cubes in that space. Uh oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, the question is, should I have bought those points? We're about ready to find out, because that right there cost me no points yet. I just lost some gold, and I'm on the edge of losing more. Come on, baby. Fly back home. The gnomes cannot build. They do a beer comp at Highlands. Yep. Uh-oh. Damn it. Oh, I sacrificed this for that. This is where they come back and hit me. So now I'm down a point. Okay. Dragon goes to Ram Water, which is off here. Oh, still off my coat. Oh. Not good for me. Uh, they add to a swamp that they occupy. They're not in a swamp. They add... Oh, sorry. In the mountain tile and grasslands. They're in neither of those, so they're going to go adjacent into forest. They're adjacent to two forests. Either the scale or the fish. What happens first is the fish. Uh-oh, there's two places they can build now on me. Mm, I put so much in the middle. Dragon moves to grasslands. It does not move. They add three into... Highland. So it's either going to be fish or it's going to be ram, uh, ram or crab. It's going to be fish. Uh oh. Jesus Louise. This is when they just break it out this last round. Don't build. Dragon moves. Does not move. Oh, I'm so lucky. Three into grasslands, which they're not. Oh, uh, Highland, which is here or here. So, crab appears first, right? Yep. It's pretty close at this point. Okay. Dragon does can't move to the middle because that's move adjacent. Did they get a build? Yes. Yeah. So, the first one they can build in. So, they can actually build here or here. Or here. Jesus, Louise. Yeah, no, the, yeah, two, three, four. Yep. So what symbol appears first is Highland. So Highland, which is is going to be crab first. So, damn it, that's a problem for me. That just cost me two points because that goes here and that's going to go here. Woo! Don't build again. Uh-oh. Damn it. We might not win. Okay, they don't move. They are going to build. They will build in Highlands Fur, which is here. Mm, that's good. At least I didn't subtract. So, that's their last turn. Let's add up the points they get. So, they're going to get six, seven, eight points. 52 points. I've got to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... I've got to get 10 points, which just may not happen. 
One. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, because I hold the middle. Boom! Pulled it out the last, the last, last turn. Woo, that was close. I could have gone either way. I got really fortunate there. Uh, so that's it. And look at that. So the score is 54 to 52. And that was on normal difficulty. I beat it on challenging, but it's it's a whole new level at that level. Uh, that's a much, much harder game. Because um, they get what that would have at challenging. This is how many extra points they get each round. They would get five more points. Um, the highest I've ever built and beat on solo was challenging. So uh, that's it. Sorry if it was a little bit rough. So that's Rise of the Gnome solo game. Yay, humans. Take care.